Welcome again to Joe Stoner Boxing. Lukas Rosanski of Poland obliterates Alan Babic in two minutes and ten seconds of the opening round and wins the WBC Bridgeweight title for what that's worth. Um, yeah, this was over in Poland. What can you say about it? Uh, Rosanski, six foot one, a little barrel of a man. Even at the Bridgeweight limit, he looked overweight. Babic, he looked fine. He looked like, you know, maybe slightly bigger than he normally does, but not by much. Um, but it was very, very interesting. Very interesting because, because Rosanski tore after Babich. He came straight across that ring. And normally Babich is the guy who likes to do the ambushing, firing all sorts of, you know, punches. It, everyone with a, every punch with a knockout written on it. Um, not this time. No, no, no. Rosanski was the one coming after him. And it was interesting because Babich didn't seem to want to exchange. This was the weird thing. Um, he hasn't looked good, Babich, in his last couple of fights. And I think it's because, I don't know, what is it? I can only speculate that when he first burst onto the scene, he was kill or be killed. Abs tore after you, didn't care about what round it was, how long the fight was. He just wanted to sling punches in bunches, all with knockout written on them and get you out of there or go out in his shield. Well, Rosanski was the one doing the bullying. He tore after Babich. Um, Babich did exchange a little bit. But when when uh, Rosansky uh, sort of landed punches and threatened to follow up, Babich was backing off. That was really interesting. Back, in fact, at one point, he backed off right back to the ropes and Rosansky just trundled forward. Eventually, Rosansky put him over. Uh, they got up close um, and a, a chopping overhand right put Babich on all fours, and put him down. He got up. He didn't look particularly hurt, but he didn't look particularly interested either. It was a strange performance by Babich. Um, and it was kind of ambushed. I don't know. I don't know what, what went on. Rosansky, you know, he's not hard to hit. I mean, again, he's 37 years old. He's only had one fight in the last... Well, he, had, he didn't, didn't fight at all in 2022. And in 2021, he had one fight against Arthur Spilker, which was a one-round knockout in like two and a half minutes roughly um prior to that 20 in 2020 he had a two-round uh victory over a journeyman um uh, prior to that fight i think that these two fights in in 2020 were both second round knockouts so he's hardly had any had any work done you know he's, he's only got any work and yet there he was you know um getting on in age suddenly fighting for this rather spurious world title in there with Alan Babich, who was undefeated, 11, um, 11 wins, uh, 10 KOs. Um, Babich, you know, if you remember in 2021, he fought, was it four times? Something like four times. Um, and then in 2022, he had one fight. And that was, that was he was taking the distance, uh, 10 round distance for the first time. He was taking any distance for the first time by um, Adam Bowski. And uh, Babich was out on the floor in the first round of that fight as well. So I don't know what's gone on with Alan Babich. Maybe making a bit of money softened him up. I mean, he's 32 now. Um, he's always been a sort of cruiserweight come bridgeweight. But maybe the fire's gone out of him. I don't know. I, I didn't like what I saw in the um, David Spilmont fight back in 2021 when he stopped Spilmont in six rounds. But that was a he was badly hurt in that one as well. Um and to be floored by Balski and then in so you know so early on in that fight, um, to be taking the distance for the first time, um, and then to be blown out in one round, I mean, by by um Rosansky. I mean, you've got to wonder where's he going from here. I always thought Babbitt should campaign at Cruiserweight, but yeah, he's been found out, definitely found out. But for for uh Rosansky, what's he gonna do as far as uh Defending his Bridgerweight title is concerned. Um, Oscar Rivas was the first ever Bridgerweight champ and he had to vacate. I think he's retired, hasn't he? Or he's, there's some sort of detached retina issue. But who's he going to defend it against, uh, Rosansky? He'll probably find... I mean, he, he might he might make a few quid in Poland defending it. Um, perhaps they could bring him over for a big payday in to Britain or America against some uh, up-and-comer. But uh, fair play. He's got a belt, even if it is. Only the WBC Bridgeway title. Um, but yeah, Babich needs to have a good long look at himself. Does he want to fight? Does he want to be a boxer or not? Um, I don't know. 
I don't, I don't, there's something strange gone on with him. He's softened up. He seems to have softened up over the last couple of years. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you saw the fight, you'll probably catch it on YouTube somewhere. Um, it's short and sweet, so give it a look. Tell me what you think. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. And hit the like button if you could. It all helps us. We're building the channel up. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.